Yo, what is good? Will Mydell back again with another tips and trick video. Strap in. It's going to be a quick one, but it's going to be a fun one. Let's go. All right, so we're spinning the block and swinging over to Instagram today for our tips and trick tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the AI background thingy in the Instagram story. So I was on Instagram the other day uploading a tutorial cause I was trying out the new, the Opus website. I think it's called Opus. I'll do another video on that later where uh, they chop up your Instagram video into multiple videos so you can share them at short form content and i was thinking you know i need a thumbnail picture because you know on instagram with the reels you have an actual picture that you can use for a thumbnail so i was like well let me just go grab you know one of the pictures from the photo shoot that i'm actually doing the video on right i just like well i had some extra ones left over I like, i'll share those in, into the story so i can keep people engaged i have something on the post and some on the story right I uploaded it to the story and I saw this little option, which I really never paid attention to. It's probably been there the whole time. And once you click on it, the AI will, you know, search the whole image to try to find the person and then it will cut the background out. And then it'll give you a, a list of options at the bottom. You know, it might say beach or, work, you know, warehouse or whatever. And you can select what they guessed or you can click on the box and type in what you want to try to match the background of your shot. So with that feature being on there, I'm able to create backgrounds and then you can just click on the three button drop down thing at the top and save it and then upload it whenever you post a new reel. All right, so outside of using this AI technology to create new Instagram reels, I really love this feature because it can really help out black cosplayers. And I'm specifically talking about black cosplayers because based off what I'm seeing online, I see a lot of imagery that can use, you know, a little bump, you know, to give it more, you know, property value, if that makes sense. So by using this feature, you can either use it as a thumbnail for your reel, or you could just use it as a regular post, which I think is cool. So if you're out somewhere, well, let's just try it out. Let's just jump into it. So I'm gonna get my phone, right? So I went to my hard drive and I went to some images I shot at MomoCon in Atlanta, 2023. And what I did, I just dropboxed myself a, a bunch of random images and we're gonna try it out today. Now, what I did notice is that the algorithm will pick up on the whole person on some images, but if your background is like really busy, and you have like gates and plants or just a bunch of objects it might not pick it up i noticed that with one of the cosplayers who were who was holding a sword or something in his hand and it selected the whole body but it totally left out the sword so let's give it a try all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to your instagram right and if you're not following me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram at will Mydell, all right if you don't want to follow me just go check out my work like some pictures i'm cool with that too so what you want to do is uh, click on the bottom plus sign and you want to go with a story, right? As you can see, I uploaded some images. This Pikachu dude was pretty cool. I thought that would be a good challenge for the algorithm. I airdropped it to my phone. I was like, we'll use that in the tutorial today. So we're going to pick this dude first. And as you can see at the very top on the left, there's a little icon that looks like a head with a box uh, circling it with a star at the top right. You want to click on that. And once you click on it, you can see it working, trying to analyze the image. And like I said earlier, it left out some things. And at the bottom, you can see all the different selected ideas it chose. So if you want to select the areas that it was not able to pick up on, what you will want to do is collect, I mean, hit on edit subject. And then you want to go, you know, touch on the areas that it was not able to select to see if it'll be able to pick it up. So let's try this out. Nope, I grabbed the background. Let me go back to the Let's keep trying, let's keep digging, let's keep digging. As you can see, it won't let me select all the images. I mean, all the whole person. And that is cool. As you, and, and to guess, to probably guess why, well, his umbrella is transparent and it's showing the background. The grays kind of like blend in with the wall. So like I say, it, it may work for some images, it may not for all. Let's keep moving, let's try a different image, right? We have, your, so I have her, how I shot her at the place in the building and then how I edited it with my phone. I'm gonna try with both to see if it'll be able to pick up with both. Let's, let's try with the busy background first, right? Let's click on this box. Wow, so it was able to select the whole thing. So let's take a look at some of the selections it got at the bottom. It has prom dress, shopping fantasy. That looks pretty cool. I mean, but 
I'm more impressed that look how <laughs> I remember Photoshop years ago. This would take us hours to do. And now you can just do it with the push of a button. Let's go back. All right. So you have a uh, private jet. You have paper hearts, you know, all these things at the bottom. Or you could just click inside the search box and you can type what you want. Right. So this is a character off of My Hero Academia and she has a power that makes things float. So I don't know. Let's try um, Japanese street um, shopping, no, Japanese street center. I'm trying to picture her standing in the street in a Japanese town and see what happens. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's another one standing in front of the house. Let's try another one. Jap uh, let's try something related to her power. Uh, floating and sky. Enter. And yeah, let's see what happens. All right. I don't like the halo or whatever. But as you can see, I mean, it, it gives pretty good, you know, guesstimation as far as like the AI on like light blending, because with light and photo compositions, it looks more realistic when the background is matching the actual person where the person is lit. You don't want to put an image where light is coming at you this way, but on, on your actual body, you know, the light is coming from this way. People are gonna know it's artificial. It's not gonna look real. So let's try another one. I have a Sailor Moon image here. Let's see if AI is able to, uh, extract her from the background and it's searching okay it did a pretty good job it does it did select some trees that i don't want but let's take a look at the bottom here of uh palm springs getaway that looks pretty cool all right so sailor moon would be something a little more let's try um i don't know what is more sailor moon i don't know let's just try let's just type anime to see what happens i'm curious i don't know let's see what happens Okay, at an anime bookstore, Japanese little town. That's not bad. Also, what I noticed is that they're real sensitive when it comes to keywords, right? So I did, where's the dude at that was Scorpion, right? So I had this guy for Scorpion and I typed in hell, like hellfire or something like that. And it totally was like, oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. So like anything that they may tr figure that's triggering, you know, I'm not gonna get into the political, you know how it is over here. Anything you will know, hurt somebody's feelings. It will, it will not. I remember when Mid Journey first started, it was doing it, you know, a lot, but they kind of like slacked out, you know, a little bit. It would not, when I typed in hell, it would not let me do anything for Scorpion. I was trying to give it like more fire. So let's try this out. Let's select it. Something like more, you know, outworldish looking volcanic, volcanic lava fire. So with him, so it did not select everything. So let's click on edit subject and try to click on the sword. All right, it, it got a little, oh, so I was able to grab it, nice. So that worked for that. Sometimes it won't work for everything, even though it does have a little bit of the background by his arm where the sword is, and I can't click on that because it'll probably mess everything up, but that's pretty cool. So um, let's type in Scorpion and see what happens. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope too. Let's, and then at the bottom left, you'll, you'll see a little refresh icon. So if you click on refresh, it'll try to rethink it. It's kind of like Photoshop's uh, generative fill. AI, yeah, see that looks pretty dope. Oh, what if I type in Japanese um, ninja village and see what happens. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Look at that, man. So if I want to save this so I can use it as a thumbnail for my reel or just as a picture to upload, you, at the very top right, you see these three dots. You click on that and, um, well, I didn't notice that. So if you click on it, it says good result or bad result. Maybe that's uh, for, I know where they're using this. So let me click on good result, right? The reason you do that is that so the algorithm can uh, remember, you know, what's good, what people think is bad, and it kind of, it, it adjusts to it. It's thinking. It's like a brain, right? So it, it wants your feedback. It wants your, you know, what do you think about this image? Kind of just asking for, you know, it wants acknowledgement. How did I do? Did you like this one? You didn't like this one? And it's going to go back and do its little computer brain thing. And, and it's going to remember, all right, a lot of people are not liking this type of setup. A lot of people liking this. Let's go more towards that. Moving forward as the AI gets better and better and better, the images look better and better and better. That's why it asks for feedback. But let's go to next. Um, oh, and also, so you don't save this little, uh, 
the widget, you want to grab it and drop it down into the trash so it's not being saved in your shop. Now, you want to click on the top three at the right and click on save. Now I saved to my camera roll. So if I wanted to just go and post an image, I would just click on boom, 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 click that, click next. Or if I want to put some music behind it, so if I want to click on audio, click on Scorpion, I'm pretty sure they got some Mortal Kombat thing on here. They have Drake. Hmm. Let's try Mortal Kombat. Let's just type that. And what do we have? Techno. All right. Simple reel. Or if you don't want to do a reel with no music, you can just click on this and click on post and you have an image. There you go, just like that. Go to next, you got your caption, and it looks like someone actually spent time working on it. I mean, I can go on, I have more images. Again, some images will probably give you a fast, quick extract from the background. Others are not because of the complexity of the background. I wanted to try this. All right, so let's try Rock Lee, right? I wanna know how smart it is when it comes to different perspectives. Now this shot is shot from the bottom uh, facing up. So I wanna see how good it is with extracting this and selecting the background that will match it based off its perspective. All right, so it was able to select it. So, um, okay, let me see some of the stuff it, it, it created in the back. It looked like it got a perspective, but let me try, let me see Naruto Ninja Village. Let's see what happens. Wow, that looks pretty good too. That's pretty cool. What if I type in Ninja Training Ground? Let's see what happens. Look at that, man. That is insane. Yo, that is, you know what? I gotta save this one. <laughs> I gotta save this one. Go to save. That's, oh, let me drop this out, out of the way, get that out of the way now, go back to save. That is pretty cool. It looks like he's actually there. Outside of his right foot, which is lit a little more bright than the mat, I can see. You can tell that's, that lighting is off. But moving up from the shin up, uh, the lighting looks pretty good. Yeah, this this looks great, this looks great. But yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. Um, I'll, I'll do a few more samples and I'll post them in my stories, I'll probably have my broadcast on Instagram. But yeah, so if you're if you're a cosplayer and you're hitting like whatever Dream Con, Momo Con, Dragon Con, and you're taking photos, whether on a camera or you book a photographer or you meet a photographer who has like a mirrorless camera, they can just Bluetooth it to your phone after they shoot it. You can go right on your Instagram, upload the image to your stories, create a cool background and have it posted on your Instagram within like 10, 15, 20 minutes after the photographer sent the image to you. That fast. You know, I mean, you can have content on your timeline throughout the whole weekend while you're at a con and, and the same way with models or whatever, but I'm focusing on cosplayers right now because this is pretty cool, and very innovative, especially for cosplayers who don't have the budget to pay a digital artist or someone who actually can go edit the photos for them. So this is a game changer. It's, it's good for Instagram real thumbnails. Again, this is in format, I think 916. So it's gonna be the size of a reel. So if you do post this on Instagram as a post, it's gonna crop it. Uh, but if you post it as a reel, it's gonna give you that full size. You know, even on TikTok, if you want to, if you want to take six photos, here's another good idea. If you want to take six photos that were shot in the same lighting, you, it's just you doing different poses. You could take all six of those photos and create backgrounds for each one and upload them as a slideshow on TikTok. How cool is that? All Instagram, all YouTube, all Facebook. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys probably got photos of your phone right now that you can go try this out and, and it'll bump your, your quality page up just like that because of like, oh wow, who shot that? Who did that for you? I mean, all right, that's my quick tips and tricks for the day, man. So um, go try it out, go try it out. If you do share something and it was because you learned it from watching my channel, come back and leave a comment and I'll share the video with your friends. But hey, look what I learned, check this guy out, go follow his page. And uh, thanks for watching the video, I appreciate the support. Also, I'm on TikTok also at Mr. Mydell. All right, so until next week, holla. Mm.